the fastest and easiest way to complete collections, get the best cards in the game. And they'll be the show 23 stubs U4GM. Link is in the description. Let's go. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're about to go over the best XP method, the most efficient way to complete Team Affinity in MLB The Show 23. Now, Team Affinity XP method is very tedious. So the number one thing you're going to want to do to knock out all the hardest part of the 11 hour total grind is to knock out the conquest and the showdown. Now, the fastest way to get all this completed in about four days, if you don't want to spend five or six hours at a time, if you are a working person, a family person, is to knock out the conquest. That's going to be tedious. Knock out the showdown. Okay, each and every single one of them. Then the players that you unlock, you're going to take three at a time. I like to do hitters. You can do pitchers. Now, I have a Braves team team, so I'm going to always be going after the Braves players first. You can do whatever players that you like. So I'm going to make a Braves team team for my grind. Okay, and then I'm going to input two or three wild card players at a time so if i want to knock out this hitter's missions i'm going to put one at the dh spot and then i'm going to put one in another position and then fill the bench or the pitching spots with all the rest of the people and then i'm going to rotate them out okay so it's a couple different things you can do you can do six inning games on play versus cpu with a custom stadium so you can hit more home runs because you only need four to five bad appearances in order to get about 450 to 500 pxp missions okay now if you want to do conquest and input them people in it's going to take you probably four or five games three inning games if you want to do mini seasons it's going to be the same thing make sure that you play all the home games so you can get more at bats more home runs and knock out the missions that way but the play versus CPU is the number one way on rookie to be able to complete everything. If you're using a Braves theme team, a Texans theme team, any type of theme team, and you put more of them in the lineup, six or seven, that's going to give you 5,000 XP each time, okay? If you're doing the individual missions, it's only going to be 3,500, 3,500, 3,500, 3,500 plus 3,500 is only 7,000. If you're doing the repeatable missions, all Braves, all Texans, all Padres, like that, and then input the two people in there, you are knocking down two things at once. That's going to be 5,000 plus the 3,500. 8,500, 8,500, 8,500 adds up super, super fast compared to... 3500 3500 checking the lineup taking people out putting people in you can knock it out super fast doing the repeatable 5000 missions okay now the fastest and most efficient way is every time before they drop a new season to do march to october pretty low all-star break have three or four different accounts going on and then once the new program drop you can go ahead and play up past the all-star break and get all that xp to come in and you can do that on each and every single different account that you have okay not separate accounts but just a march to october a foul save march to october a foul save vice versa okay we're gonna get back to roster investments because i'm at 700 000 stubs i'm trying to get a million stubs in the next roster update and i'm gonna the help you guys out also. easiest way to complete collections get the best cards in the game and they'll be the show 23 stubs u4gm link is in the description let's go